Protectors of the Suna Suna Protector of the Suna Alhamdulillah, wa salat, wa salam Allah, wa rasulullah. Welcome to another session of our hadith class. And this is the hadith kutsi. Uh, let's put the uh, hadith that's up for tonight for discussion on the screen. And again, for those of you who have not yet ordered the book, please do so. It's a good book that should be a part of everyone's uh, library. And this is hadith number 16, and this hadith is narrated by Abu Huraira. He tells us that he heard the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, Allah will hold the whole earth and roll up all the heavens in his right hand. And then he will say, I am the king. Where are the kings of the earth? And we've discussed this hadith before in a previous uh, class. Uh, this is what will happen on a day of judgment. Allah will roll the earth up and throw it into the hell fire. Why? Because the people used to worship it. Everything that was worshipped in this world, including the world itself, will be thrown into the hell fire. Okay? No, 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 no. Not that. The earth will be rolled up and served on a platter for us to eat as bread. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the sun and the moon. The sun and the moon will be rolled up and thrown into the hellfire. But the earth will be rolled up and shaped into a loaf of bread and we will eat it. The people of paradise will eat it, okay? And the reason why Allah does this, uh, after he does this, he will say, for those of you who used to worship or associated partners with me, where are your kings? Have them come forward now. Can they do what I've done? Can they stop me from doing what I'm doing? And of course, no one will be able to do that. And of course, everyone will then say that they believe in Allah, but it's too late. Okay, so this is a hadith, you know, that speaks about what's going to happen, you know, on the day of judgment. And it teaches us that, number one, the holding of the earth and the folding of the heaven takes place after everyone and everything has died and is raised back up again. Also, this hadith confirms what we discussed before, that Allah has hands, and Allah has right uh, hands, okay? Also, this hadith is a reminder that Allah is the master of the day of judgment, and none of us can ever uh, estimate or even attempt to underestimate him. So what do you guys think of this hadith? We've discussed it before. Uh, how does it impact you in your life, anyone? It makes me think. It makes me think about, I remember, it makes me acknowledge how powerful and how great Allah is. And then I think about the king, and I think Allah is really the only king that, that exists, he is Allah. He is the king, he's the master, he's the he's everything. And we have just a little time, we may have just a, a little time left to do what we have to do. And we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot to do. And it, it, in one second, we could be gone from here with our what we our purpose, our job, our everything undone. So we really need to get back busy. That's what I was thinking. Alhamdulillah. Anyone else would like to share? It just makes me think how you don't want to be among those who don't believe. You know, just looking at the power of Allah and what he can do. You know, and you don't want to be of those who don't believe in, in him and that you're not doing, fulfilling your obligations to Allah. 
you know, because what do you have coming at that point when you don't believe? You don't have nothing coming. And I don't want to be amongst anyone like that. Exactly. It puts that fear of Allah in your heart that we all need to have in order to be a true believer. In order to be a believer, we have to have love for Allah. We have to fear his, his anger, fear his punishment, and have hope that we will be amongst those, you know, who are forgiven. So again, when we hear about what's going to happen, you know, on the day of judgment, it's supposed to frighten us. You know, Allah tells us the details and the particulars as to what's going to happen on that day because he wants us to make the right choices for ourselves. He wants us to change our, the condition of ourselves to that which is pleasing to him. So hopefully these hadiths about the day of judgment will put that fear in our heart and increase our love for Allah so that we can be of those who have a good outcome on that day. I'd like to thank everybody for joining and participating. Uh, make sure everybody's here for the classes tomorrow. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamtika. Ashadu an la ilaha ila anta astaghfiruka wa atubu.